So hey awesome ones, Heather here. And I have a question for you. Are your style choices making you look heavier? Well today I have some styles for you and they're gonna help you look slimmer like right now. I've got 10 tips and I also have the do's and the don'ts. You know, I know you really love to see the comparisons. I can't wait to show you this video. It all starts in just a few seconds. Now, just before I get into this video, I want to let you know this is in no way a body shaming kind of video. Hey, back in the day, I used to be a skinny, bulimic model, and I don't want to go back to that person. I eat right, I exercise, but I got still a little bit of weight I want to hide, and that's what this video is all about. Just helping you with fashions look a little bit more slender. And with the first tips, they're going to entail tip one, tip two, tip three, and tip four. Let's take a look. So here I am wearing an outfit where I'm probably thinking in the morning, let me just put something on that won't make me look heavy today. And this is what a lot of us come up with, but there's four aspects of this outfit that we can change to make us look a lot thinner. Let's take a look. So here I am and I'm looking taller and leaner. And some of the tips are, well, number one, I'm wearing my size and that really, really helps. You know, those oversized looks, they just make you look heavier. The second tip that I have with this outfit, I love this top by the way, is the empire waist. The empire waist kind of hides my tummy a little bit, which I like, but it still looks very, very fashionable. And the third tip is a V-neck. You know, if you have a bit of a V-neck and it kind of points downwards. So again, it's kind of making this part of you look a little bit more attractive. And if that's one of your good features, then of course you want to emphasize it a little bit more. And uh, the fourth tip is the pants. Now I know that baggy pants are really trending right now, but what I'm wearing right now is a tighter pant. As long as my butt is covered, it's very, very attractive. And, or you could wear maybe a legging style, but uh, yeah, I think this looks much slimmer. And I'm actually wearing that blue top that I had in the video. I absolutely love it. And if you kind of love it too, I'm going to be putting links uh, underneath the description and also in the comments for some of the do outfits that I'm wearing. And by the way, if you kind of like this kind of video, I also do makeup and skincare and self care. I would love you to come on down and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to click on the bell and you'll be reminded when my videos are out. Now I have more do's and don'ts for you. Let's take a look at tips number five and six. So next is tip number five and six, starting with our legs. And ankle boots are really, really trending. They're so popular. But with bare legs like this, well, it's kind of cutting me off just below the knees. And also these boots, they're, they're beautiful boots, but they kind of look matronly in this outfit. So let's see if I can do a better job and make me look slimmer. So with this look, I have a longer silhouette with these black tights on. Now I'm going to talk to you women um, who are in the you know, the warmer climates in just a second. But notice how this makes, it doesn't cut me off at the knees. It's a much nicer look. And those shoes, those little booties that I'm wearing, they, they don't look matronly anymore. All right, now there's another tip that I have here. And that is that I'm wearing a darker silhouette underneath. And please don't wear all black, but if you wear something lighter on top, Again, it's very, very slendering, um, but you're still fashionable. Now I realize that some of you awesome ones, you live in warmer climates and there's no way you're gonna be wearing tights. Now if you wanna wear a dress, I would suggest that you wear maybe a longer, the midi dresses are very, very popular right now. And then you can wear your sandals and 
I would even suggest maybe a nice slit up the side, uh, but that's what I would suggest for you. It gives you a longer silhouette. Now talking about silhouettes for my next tip, I know the monochromatic look is very, very popular right now, but I'm going to suggest if you don't want to look heavier, not to wear all of a bright color or even all white. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. So here I am in a monochromatic look. I decided on all white, but I could have done the same outfit in all like a light pink or a light blue. And I would still look about the same because every little bulge is showing and I literally just look bigger. So let's take a look at uh, another look that makes me look more slender, but still keeping the monochromatic look in our minds. <laughs> So here I am in a monochromatic look and it's denim on denim and believe it or not, it's trending right now. Now, if you wanna look slimmer, go for the darker wash in your denim and uh, this is really a comfortable kind of look and it's great for weekends. And by the way, that jean jacket that I just showed and the jeans are both in a stretchy material, which I absolutely love and I know you do too. And again, the links will be in the description and also in the comments for you. So for number eight, let's talk about shapewear. And for sure, if you're going out for an evening, you're wearing a dress, you wanna have a slinky kind of look, I would suggest uh, getting yourself a full body kind of shapewear like this. And by the way, I have a lot of links at uh, amazon.com slash shop slash awesome over 50 for you, uh, not only in shapewear, but camisoles as well. Here's another example of a kind of shapewear that you might like and this is just for a little bit of tummy control but what's number nine what's the number nine tip well the number nine tip is you don't have to wear shapewear every day what if you're like me you just don't want to wear it every day and I had to come up with a solution for you, so here it is. And I would suggest that you buy outfits like this pencil skirt, for example, gotta make sure it's the right way, um, with a, a larger band on the top that kind of brings your tummy inwards. And also, you know, those Lee jeans that I love, the same thing, it has some stretch, but look at the band that this has, and there's not even a real fly, it's a faux fly, and this is going to bring your tummy in. Now, I also just bought some new undies, and I love them, even though they look kind of like boy undies, uh, I did get them from Amazon, but look at the waistband there. It's almost like shapewear, but it doesn't have all that grabby stuff that makes you sweat a lot, and these are super, super comfy. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if anyone should be self-conscious about their weight, it's me. And as a person who was bulimic and I had to be skinny all the time, I don't wanna go back to that, Heather. I wanna be a healthy Heather. I wanna eat right, sure, I wanna exercise, sure. But the next tip is about being really, absolutely confident in yourself. And, and that will just make everything look great. Having that smile and, and saying to yourself, you know what, what can I wear today that's a little bit slendering? Not, oh my gosh, I look so heavy and this and that. No, what can I look that will make me look good today? And that's the kind of tip that I wanna give you just to, to really embrace that kind of feeling. And I gotta tell you, I just, absolutely love you, the awesome ones. We're really on this journey together. And I would love for you to join me. Do you know that I'm live every single Wednesday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time? And you can find me at amazon.com slash shop slash awesome over 50. And I'm either at the top of the page or at the bottom, but that's where the live streaming is. And you can chat with me. We talk about everything from makeup to self-care, even some things that I, I have in the kitchen and travel. And I would just absolutely love you to join me there. You know, it, it's, it's just so great. And I also read all the, com well, pretty well every one of the comments that you send as well, uh, because I know that you're just 
learning along with me and you're also becoming a beacon of light. You're a beacon of light for those younger women that think they have to be skinny or they have to be young. And what we're doing is we're just changing the whole dynamic of that. And we're showing our daughters of the younger generation that it's okay to be older. It's okay to have a little bit of weight on you. And it's certainly okay to keep it awesome.